Hi, in this tutorial I'll talk about how we can create and edit our own palettes. Now palettes are a perfect tool to store a lot of colors and to quickly access them. So right now if I just click on this color you see how it's assigned to my foreground color and I can quickly use it with my paint tools. So this is a really useful tool for you to store your colors, save them and quickly access them. Let's undo all that and close this. You see here we have the name of the palette and on the right we have the colors that are stored in that palette. Down here we have some options. Uh, the option to refresh, we can delete the palette, duplicate it, create a new one or edit the palette. Now have in mind that these palettes that come with GIMP are not, uh, you cannot edit them or delete them. Here the uh, delete option is grayed out, the edit is available, but if you click on this, you find out that you cannot actually edit this palette. All the options for editing are grayed out. We can go around that by just duplicating this palette, and now we can rename it, and we can edit the colors here. So let's create, let's delete this uh, duplicate here, and let's create our own palette. This is the button for that. We get this palette editor, and from here, palette editor menu, I can add a new color from foreground color or from background color. You see how this color is added here. Let's change that to green, and we can add this green color here. Now, if I double click on this color or use this edit color option, I get this edit color palette entry and I can for example change this color. Let's say I want to make it brighter and you see how that color changes here. Now uh, you can delete that color. We also saw just right now how we can edit that color and a quick way to add new colors is to bring out the color selection dialog and here, for example, if we select this yellow color, instead of clicking OK and going here, add a new color from foreground color, I can just click this option here. And you see how quickly this color is assigned here. I can change that color, assign it here, and continue like that. Also, if you hold down the control key, you add the color from the background here. Right now it's white. If I hold down the control key and click this option, you see how I'm adding that color. Of course, we can change that to anything we like. Control key, add, you see the color here. Some other options here. We can zoom in, zoom out, delete the selected color, zoom all, and that's it. And if you close this palette, it's already saved here in our palettes. We can rename it, let's say to that, you see the number of colors that are holding this palette. So that's it for this tutorial, bye for now.